the Russian god himself, Tachanka, is who we are going to be focusing on in today's video. For our operator guide, we're going to be going through his strengths, his weaknesses, and overall my thoughts on the operator. But if you are new here, make sure you click the like button, subscribe if you are new, and come and check out all the other content on the channel. But without further ado, let's get into the Russian god that is Tachanka. The Russian bear himself, Tachanka. Let's talk about his overall kit, and um, I'll talk about strengths and weaknesses in just a moment. Three speed, five armor. Feels very slow when you're using him in game, uh, but that five armor is very good. Mounted LMG. Essentially just puts an LMG down for you to use for your entire team to use. So yeah, there's that. It's, it's very, very simple. Once again, paralysis grenade revive kit is what I tend to gravitate towards. You may have a different option. It's up to you. Uh, you have the GSH18 or the PMM. I tend to go with the PMM because it does a little bit more damage. And when you unsilence it, if you really want it to, it probably does a little bit more damage as well. Then we go into his weapons. He has three weapons. I think that the first two are not the greatest. I think the AK-12 is by far his best gun, um, mainly because I just enjoyed using it. The um, the VSN isn't the greatest. Um, I I you know didn't really enjoy using it as much. And then the SAG SG-12 is okay, um, especially when it's silenced. Unsilenced, it does do. Uh, uh, about 50 damage so if you really wanted to go loud with it you could potentially use that uh, but i do think that the ak-12 going loud uh, is going to be pretty much up there as well uh, when it comes to uh, doing damage so yeah i would just recommend using the ak-12 let's go over advancements gets the lmg straight away and gets up to a capacity of 400 rounds in the lmg uh, then goes into the submachine gun gets the speed increase Enhanced reflexes are reloading, aiming, weapon swapping, speed is increased by 35%. Uh, then gets the hand cannon, then gets the uh, handling, which is deployment speed, aiming speed, reload speed, and recoil reduced by 60%. Uh, increased damage and impact power from the LMG. Uh, then you get a uh, incoming damage reduction to 40%. Uh, and then we get the AK-12 assault rifle. And then finally, you get a turret count of two. Uh, and the turret ammunition increase has gone up to 600 rounds. So let's talk about the strengths and weaknesses of Tachanka. Going over the strengths and weaknesses of Tachanka, I do think that he is very limited with having to put the turret down. Although you can pick them up, they can get destroyed very easily as well if you do get ganged up upon. So it is that that is the one thing that you need to be careful of with Tachanka. His speed and his armor is okay. Uh, his armor is pretty decent. Uh, I think it's level five, um, whereas we've just gone through it. But I do think that just having that turret is the only thing that you can really do. And if he's not utilizing it properly, or you're only using it on uh, objective-based encounters, like i.e. you're defending a point or you're defending a scan zone, then I do think that the ability becomes a little bit redundant. And there is better abilities out there that you could use than a turret even though there's two of them you're never going to get through the 500 bullets you're never really going to be using it often so maybe he's just kind of like one of those operators you just use whenever you get the chance to uh, put him in a certain situation but outside of that it's not the uh he's not the greatest of operators overall but that's just my thoughts and opinions on Tachanka, if you found ways to play him, please let me know. I love his weapon kit as well. His weapons are very good. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, I'm not too sure about uh, Tachanka. But as always, if you've enjoyed this video and it has been helpful, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell as always. And this has been Jimbo. I'll see you guys next time.